the cream of the crop. You're fine there. At least you look like you're fine there. Let me just see what's going on. <laughs> Can't hear me now. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, well. Yes, we pulled another Vladdy. <laughs> is that better now? Or is it still messed up? There he is. Okay. Yeah, Streamlabs is not Streamlabs. Uh, OBS and I guess uh, Voice Mod are not getting along again. Yes, we're having fun. We've pulled now our, I think that's our 11th or 12th Vladimir Guerrero Jr. at a pact. It's the only thing we're seeming to be pulling, too, so. I guess it's the curse of the Blue Jay. But we'll get into some of this stuff and keep going. Good morning, everybody. Sorry for the muting incidents here. <laughs> I'm not sure why it does that, though. It does it every time. Well, let's take on the pesky Pittsburgh Pirates, who are not so not so easy to defeat these days. But it is free comic books Friday or Saturday, anyway. So make sure you guys take the kids to the comic book stores, grab them some free comics. We're going there this morning. It's gonna be we'll be live till about nine o'clock or so. As we'll have some fun, and we're li just a reminder: we're live on YouTube under Dad Plays the Show. We're live on Twitch. We're live on Trovo. We're live on Kick as well. So if you guys have Ability to open another tab somewhere over there and then just come over and say hi or something that cool too. Keep the metrics up over there. Linden is killing it over here, by the way. That's why we didn't go live last night. Got 125 people in this chat when I, you went when I got home from work. I was just like, goodness, okay, I guess I don't need to go to where I don't need to go do my thing now. I need to help my friend out here. All right, I'll leave this line up the way it is. But happy Saturday, folks. Hope you're having great ones. Thanks to Rock Gamer yesterday for the follow over on the kick side. And I'm not sure if there are follow bots or whatever, but we're up to 350 follows over on Twitch now. So we'll let the Twitch folks figure that one out. But it looks like about 8.30 yesterday morning after we were offline, we got about another 10 to 20 follows. Working and Larkins, thank you so much, Smitty. Enjoy your day at work. Hopefully, it's not a bad one. We do greatly appreciate it. But don't forget, guys and gals, May 19th is going to be the next karaoke stream. May or may not have a guest singer or two. We'll see. I know a certain person in my house wanted to crash the party. <laughs> but yes, we should be fine. And that's the kid's mom asking, you're coming to get them at nine, right? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> why wouldn't it be? Because they're already excited and they're already up. I'm like, well, we're not coming until 9 because comic book store doesn't open until 10. Yeah, so, hopefully you guys are doing a little better on your grind i saw tj got some decent cards i saw snowman's getting some cards i get stuck with flatties and i get stuck with uh byron buxton's if they were worth a little bit more i wouldn't m mind so much but they're only like three and a half i think they're 3700 or something so it's not really worth trading in Almost better off keeping him for an exchange. I need, I might have to do here to finish up these team infinity things. This one's lying into right field. Marsh will circle underneath this one. He'll make the grab, and the inning's over. 
Pirates go away empty-handed despite having two base runners. And the Canadians will come to bat in a scoreless tie. So Brandon Marsh will lead things off against Contreras here. I don't think I'm sitting on the chair right either. <laughs> I feel like we're kind of all over the place here. There we go. I felt like it was kind of half on, half off the chair this morning. Didn't forget my coffee upstairs today, so it's already a better start than yesterday. <laughs> Yes, it should be fun. And hopefully, guys, you'll be riding away on this stuff no prime. Uh, the tops moments are done. Well, the the uh, missions are done. So we're all the mission missions for the Player of the Month program. And we finished off the Mexico City uh, missions as, or moments as well. This Bagwell swings and misses, and Contreras has got two away here. Nick Senzel now the batter. Denzel in the Tops Moments program this week. This walk off homer. He flares this one into left center, right center field, and it's going to be tracked down on the run by the right fielder. And we got a scoreless tie after half an inning, after an inning here at Harry Carey Field. Connor Joe would be the batter now. Joe takes a strike from Joe Steele. Or Justin Steele. Jays beat the Pirates 4 0 to get back in the win column after five games of. I don't know. Just not playing their brand of baseball. Chris Bassett was a really solid performance yesterday. Really, really solid. Helped out the cause there. Oh, Castro got a hold of that one. That one's not coming back at all. That's definitely a no-doubter blasted the center field and gone. And it's the Pirates who strike first here in the second inning. Carlos Santana now, the batter. Morning, Jeff. How's your day starting off, sir? Braves got thumped by the Orioles yesterday, so anybody was saying the Orioles weren't for real, well, they got a rude awakening yesterday. I like what they did in Tampa, though. Not bad, though, Jeff. Not bad. Not bad. I like what they did in Tampa. So Friday nights in Tampa Bay at Tropicana Field is Randy Arozarena and Land Knight. They opened up the field in right field. If Arozarena homers in that game, all the fans in that section get free drinks. And sure enough, Mr. Arozarena hit two homers last night. They got winged twice. Sorry, he hit a homer last night. He got beamed twice by the Yankee pitchers. But I thought that was kind of cool. And then, and then how about those Yankees being dead last? Hey, that's the best thing we could ever see. Sorry, Mikey Mumbles. Let them be dead last. Now we just got to get the Blue Jays playing a little better. Again. Pittsburgh yesterday, though, the only thing I saw, well, the takeaways I saw from Pittsburgh yesterday, they are as aggressive as heck on the base pass, so that's not a bad thing. But they were just making some bad choices last night on what pitchers they were going on. Well, it's a ground to the shortstop. They're going to get the runner going to third. <laughs> I knew that was coming, too. There's always that part. I knew that was coming, too, Jeff. I figured you'd bring that up. And they're doing all right. They're doing all right. They got rolling at the right time. They caught Toronto with their, kind of their feet in the ground. and Things just not going right this week for the Blue Jays. They dropped five in a row, but they finally got it. They snapped that yesterday, and they got their first win. Of the week, which is kind of weird because the week before they went seven and one or six and one. This week, not so much. 
This week, not so much. Reminders, we are live on Twitch. We're live on Kick. We're live on Trovo. And we're live over on YouTube on Dad Plays the Show. If you guys have tabs, you don't mind opening up in there and just saying hi or something, too. Up the metrics over on those places. They've got a lot of games to go. Yeah, but yeah, if the wild card starts today, you guys will get the fifth spot. So, Toronto would have the sixth spot. But you would probably get somebody from... Well, I guess you guys could be fifth. You probably would get the team that was in third. So you get the third You get the third, uh, third division winner. So probably would be the central. So in other words, you pretty much get a free pass to the... <laughs> free pass to the American League Championship Series. Or the division series, sorry. Not a lot of good things going on in the American League Central right now. My, mind you, Minnesota is playing pretty well. Detroit, not so much. Chicago's definitely not. Yeah. Yeah, they have a lot of injuries out there. If it's a hip flexor, he could be gone for a while. If it's just hip irritation, he could be okay. He should be done good in 10 games. As Frazier pops this one into center field, but it's caught by the left fielder. Nothing's dropping. Nothing is dropping this morning. I have to start taking sips of coffee here and wake up. Yes, they're also doing some uh, testing at Jack Couch Park this morning. I didn't realize they were doing that. I would have switched my schedule around, but I promised the kids I'd take them out to the comic book store this morning. I didn't realize the kids had thought we were going with me. I thought they were going with their mom. So it's like, okay, I'll take them. Fine. Take them out to McDonald's for breakfast and go to the comic book store. We'll hang out for the day. Uh, there will be an evening stream, guys and gals. I'm not sure if we're going to do more baseball. Or we're going to do something else. I might do Dinkum tonight. I might just do some Dinkum tonight and have some fun. We did fire up Steve Storm yesterday. And like I said, apologies we didn't go live last night. London had a lot of people in his chat on kick last night. So I was just making sure we didn't get suddenly get flood controls or anything else. I didn't, I didn't bother... Doing anything till he went off stream. He went till eight o'clock last night. By that time, I was just like, you know what? I'll do some baseball off stream for an hour, and that's pretty much what I did. It was awesome to see Lyndon have such a huge number up yesterday. Watching him play Jedi uh, Survivor. But the Red Sox, you know, they're not that bad of a team. They just, they've had some injuries, they've had some other stuff going on, and it's just like, it's hard for the... They're still trying to carve out their new identity here, too. They're post-Bogarts uh, era and post-Ortiz era, all that stuff. But I think they could get it done. In the fourth inning, I haven't got a run yet. Jeez. But we're working on the Player of the Month program. We're working on the Tops Moments program. Heck, I think we're working on the Tops the Weekly Wonders still. Trying to get all that stuff done. I have not got that walk with the third base with the third baseman yet. I might have to do the other missions and whatever else to get those done. Player of the Month program is going to be a grind for you guys. There's like, you need 30 hits, 30, five stolen bases, three staves, some other stuff too. So it's going to be a grind. It's not going to be, oh, I can just go through the missions and get half it done. Or half the moments and get it done. It's going to be kind of grindy. But it'll probably take you a couple days. As Bagwell fouls off the first offering from Contreras here. Pirates still in this one, one nothing in the fourth. 
And a lot of people were mad that it's uh, Matt Chapman. <laughs> As the player of the month, people wanted Muncie, they wanted Acuna. But, you know, I think it just boiled down to that's the one that Sony decided, they, or Sony Studios decided, hey, that was the, that's our guy, based on the numbers and everything else. And I think he did have a good shot at it. So I'm not discounting the fact that Cunha had a great month, Muncie had a great month, but Chapman's month was just slightly better in certain areas. That I, I'm thinking the guys with their Braves fans and Dodgers fans, things all have their blinders on a little higher. I would have been happy with any of those three of those guys. I'm great. I'm elated as Chapman because now I got a better third baseman. I can put it on a permanent basis. I don't have Chipper Jones. <laughs> if I had Chipper, it maybe been a different a different story. But we're no more close because we can't do events up here. <laughs> I think everybody worries about their pitching staff, Jeff. Like, if anything, the Red Sox series this week. Pretty much exposed to Jay's pitching staff. Zach popped one on the DL. Had they call up uh, Joe or Jeff? Was it Joe Jackson or Jack Jackson? Whatever his name is from the, the minors. Thirty-five year old that wanted to sign with the Jays, even though he had offers with everything else, everybody else. But he just wants to be a part of the Blue Jays staff and wants to do his part, help them win a World Series. But it's just like I, I don't know. Like, I don't think we've got that good of a pitching staff once we get out of the starters. Rios has been terrible. Again. But the guy just... I don't know. He's kind of, since he's been here, he's been kind of checked out. And it has been very hittable. If you would have got Verlander on, well, and Verlander, I think it was just he realized how much money the Mets were going to throw out of somebody, and it was just kind of hard not to. I don't blame him for doing that either. He's 38 years old. He's looking for one big page, one more, one big, one more big paycheck. He's probably got realistically two years left that he's somewhat functional. I wouldn't go from too old, but exactly, but yeah. It's Justin Verlander. I think it's just more of a, if you're a younger pitcher on that farm system or anything else, or you're in that team, you're going, oh my God, I got Justin Verlander to pick his brain with for the next six months. He can impart some, impart some knowledge on you, but I don't know what $43 million, if that's the kind of, <laughs> if that's the kind of price tag you want to do for your young pitching staff. One's lined out there. We gotta get some base hits. I don't do I even have a hit. Yeah, we got two hits. Pitcher's got three. I'm just not hitting baseballs lately. And Randy Johnson didn't retire until he's 45. Yep, exactly. But I think Verlander's not gonna retire this year or next year, but I could see it realistically being his swan song in New York. <clears throat> Although I would have loved to see him go back to Detroit just to say goodbye and everything else. That's just me. This one has flared into the outfield and caught again. It's the only problem when you have these tops moments, missions, and everything else all going in. You don't have a lineup that's really that solid together. Like, I don't feel confident in half these guys I'm getting the job done. All right, so Estrada got a board here. We got still five bases, too, so we know what we're doing here. Like even Pittsburgh knows what we're doing here. All right, there's one stolen base. Four to go. <laughs> well, we got to steal some bases. We got to do some other stuff. That one's lined in the center, and it's not caught. All right, we got we got a break. Adam Frazier gets a break. We got a run across. We got a tie ball game. Carlos Santana now. Are you guys enjoying the captain program? Are you using the captain series program at all? Like, I know I'll use it if I'm working on a certain team. But other than that, it's just, I don't know. 
it just seems like they dropped the ball on it or just didn't promote it well or enough or something because you have to have five guys on that team on the in the lineup if you're using the pitcher as a as a captain series you gotta have five usually between five six or seven pitchers on their team to make it worth your while so it's good for when you're working on like team infinity stuff but the rest of the time it's just like no it's not that great Because, like, I don't know, they just seemed like they just didn't quite market it or, write, or make the functionality for the... And play the show. Yeah. I figured as much, Jeff. I figured you were probably busy with class and everything else. If you have time tonight and want to jump in on Dinkum with us, I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll grind out baseball tomorrow. I also want to try out that game on Xbox that was on the Game Pass. Not uh, Redfall or whatever the heck that thing is. That just doesn't look like it. That didn't feel to me when I saw the tra intros, the trailers for it. I was just like, nah, it's not my kind of game. The other one. What is the other one here? What is the other game? Yeah, Ravenlock. I want to look at that one tomorrow. So we may do that one in the afternoon. So Brandon Marsh will lead off the sixth inning here. Pirates and the Canadians tied deadlock that one apiece here. Prompts. No worries, sir. I gotta go hunt some. I gotta go hunt some alpha crocodiles. I think we gotta go hunt. And then I gotta start figuring out traps and everything else so we can trap those devil dogs. And I'd like to get the teleportation stations done, but I gotta find discs first. Work on those tonight. Uh, yeah, Snowman, it took me a while. Senzel took me a while. So did, um, who's the other guy? Yeah, Senzel was hard. So was another one. Oh, that guy from the Pittsburgh Pirates, the 33-year-old rookie. I had his home, I, I only had to hit one swing with him. I got him a home run. What's that? Took one, you want to try no, that's what they, that was the guy, the White Sox guy, that was the guy who I struggled with. Couldn't get him to the home run. I was like, why is this guy got to be a home run? It was just like the bases, they were running at first and third. Catching a little bat now. Because we're into the seventh inning here, in a 1 1 tie, because we're not just, we're not hitting baseballs. We're just not hitting baseballs today. Now, Lennon's awake, he must be working on his dailies now. Lennon's got to go to work for noon this time, so he's probably getting ready to go soon. I better crack open the coffee. It's not helping here. Too early for daily? Okay. Well, speaking of the devil, I didn't mean to call you out, Lennon. Congrats last night on a great night, sir. Wish I had that kind of front page luck. You do. <laughs> I guess they just put you on the front. Because they were, they were. I know they were featuring guys who were playing Jedi Survivor this week. So I guess you were just got bumped up the front. Too bad nobody was talking. So. But you were at the top of the category, so I guess you got the spot. Checking shopping updates, nice. All right, well, Justin Steele's got 9K, so he's doing his part. We got to get 30Ks with the Player of the Month cards. We need 30 hits with the Player of the Month cards. I think it's like 15 stolen bases or, or five, five stolen bases, four, five saves. And Friedel's not going to get to this one either, and that's going to be trouble. Pirates taking the lead here. Get Mr. Young loosened up here. There's Jack Solinsky now, the batter. I'm just glad in the live series they don't start using their, their player of the month cards against you. 
Line there, Senzel can't, makes the grab. The infield was in, there's now one away. A huge out here. Pirates have taken the lead on an E5? What how how was that an E5? We didn't catch we didn't catch it? I thought he caught it. I'll go home for that one and get the out at home. But I thought he caught it on a liner, so I didn't go anywhere. I didn't want to throw it away. I guess it bounced. Alright, Justin Steele facing K.E. Brian Hayes here. And now we got no place to put them, so we're going to have to give them something down Green Street. And that is down Green Street. That's going to score two runs for sure, and the Pirates now lead this one 4-1. to We're going to lose to the Pittsburgh Pirates today. <laughs> We'll go back to beat up on beating up on the Reds or the A's. So hopefully that brought your average concurrent viewers up a little bit, Lyndon. Now you gotta get the 50 so you can apply to be verified, but. I think at one point you had 133 people in your chat. Andrew Vaughn's the guy I struggled with with pits with uh, the from the White Sox and those player of the month or sorry the tops moments. He lines one to the shortstop and he's going to be thrown out by a few feet here. Thirty-seven for average. Oh, yeah, that's not. Hey, that's not bad at all. You can get a couple more big days like that when you're playing Jedi or something. You should be all right. I know we're averaging. I think we're at sixteen or seventeen. Which I'm fine with because that's a little bit higher than the Twitch numbers. And considering I don't really play the top known games here, I don't play. Call of Duty or anything. That one's going to drop in. Friedel's going to get on his horse and truck it to third here. We got to get a run back here in the seventh and a couple back in the eighth and ninth here. Everybody loves a walk off. Thyro Estrada will be the batter now. He's one for two. And he has a stolen base. That one's lined at, at the shortstop and they'll flip the first. Getting over. Pirates get, get out of it without giving up another run. And now out hitting the Canadian 7 to 5. Brian Reynolds, who struck out in the sixth inning, will get batter, but Alex Young is going to come into the ballgame and take over. So I am seriously considering setting up a, I don't know, some sort of channel points on kick side as well. And we're going to set up a wheel spin so you guys can have some fun. I've got a lot of Steam games i got to get rid of anyway, so. Put a bunch of Steam Redemption codes on on a wheel spin. Put the jelly beans and everything else on there too, so you guys can either earn your channel points or you can use a wheel spin and try to get me to make me eat a jelly bean either as well too now. I was going through my humble bundles and it's like, yeah, you're we're almost to 300 games again <laughs> that I'm probably not going to play. If anybody needs anything for that last month monthly bundle, let me know. I don't think I grabbed anything out of that one. I think there was aliens and something else. And Mr. Sky Zone, how was your stream last night? I didn't get a chance to stop in, but good morning to you. But I'm going to plan. It was good. I'm planning on watching it sometime today. If you get a couple more eyeballs on it, anyways. But again, because you're playing Jedi Survivor, I don't want to. I don't want too many spoilers. I was hanging out in Lyndon's chat last night and kind of 
not paying attention. Just tired man and just woke up. Nice. We got up a little bit after six. You know, I wanted to go live for seven, so I was getting my butt out of bed. We are live on Twitch, we're live on YouTube, we're live on Trova, and we're live on Kick, so don't mind popping open tabs on other places too, guys and gals. Please do so. I'm trying to grow everywhere. I'm trying to get more eyeballs on things. And we're now a few days away from Scary Karaoke Scary Karaoke Mixtape Volume 2. Looking more like an 70s, 80s, and 90s theme. Of course, when you guys renew your subs, we'll send you a, a note on Discord to remind you to go pick up your, like a song selection for us, too. So we'll throw on the wheel and we'll spin away. We did last, last time. We have a couple of special guests join us for a, a duet or something. We'll see. Now, somebody in the house was eager, an eager beaver to do it today. <laughs> She's like, can we do it today? I'm like, no, we got to do it on that day. Her brother woke her up rather early today, so she's going to be in a great mood later. Morning, Mr. Cubby. You guys aren't following Cubby. Not following Lyndon, not following Sky Zone. Go drop him some follows, please. As Alex Young is, Pittsburgh Pirates are going to beat us today, four to one, aren't they? I have just not hit the side of. I could not hit water today if I hit fell out of the boat, in the middle of the ocean. The cubby batting syndrome is definitely con contagious. I'm definitely afflicted with it. Try to turn your phone last night? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I was getting home late last night, and I saw Lyndon was on, and I saw the number, and I saw where he was in the position as far as the uh, on kicks. So I was like, okay. I'm going to work on baseball off stream. He needs me in more in his chat just in case something goes crazy or something. Thankfully, it wasn't, but... Bagwell's going to lead off the inning with a single anyways. Uh, what's Bagwell's speed? 63? 18%, yeah. You're going to definitely need to charge that thing up. Senzel is 0 for 3. It's Bednar in the, the pitch now. One is tagged to center field, not that deep. Center fielder's going back. The track. That one's going to leave the yard. Nick Senzel with a homer. Gives the Canadians a little life here in the ninth inning. Now they're trailing by a run. Andrew Vaughn, who's one for three, will be the batter now. Mine's charging right now, actually, so. All we've been playing is Vladdy's and uh, Byron Buxton's lately. Bond flies out for out number one here. Yeah, this is just now. This is what I hate about these when I make these teams. Just no guys I know are gonna knock it consistently. Going down 0-2 in the playoffs. Yeah, that's not good, Cubby. This one's lined over the head of the right fielder. He's gonna make the grab. Doyle's retired, and it's down the Friedel now. As the Canadians are down their last out. Friedel's two for three. And make that one for four, two for four. And that's the ball game. Canadians lose four to three. Yeah, it's just going to be one of those days. Just 
<laughs> SRM, how you doing? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Twitch. <laughs> SRM Gaming, how you doing? Yeah. Mr. Bake, how you doing? Yeah, Twitch likes to pull them, pull the big ads at us. Huh? Is it still like every every eight minutes again, guys, or is it, did they fix it again? It's not set for every eight. <laughs> and good luck, Bake. You guys do pretty well today. Maybe you're gonna get a couple upsets here. Morning, Mikey. How you doing, sir? So, what's the verdict on Mr. Trout? Is it hit bad or what? Are you ready to play? Well, that's good. Glad you're ready to play because you're definitely going to need to play pretty well today. Got to play better than I played against Pittsburgh here. That's for sure. Don't forget, guys and gals, double XP is also on until next Friday at lunchtime. Or next Friday at lunchtime at Pacific time. So make sure you guys are following Mikey Mumbles too. All right. She asked me this. Uh-oh. What's going on with this clip? He asked, somebody asked for something. All right. So we're not playing Baltimore again. <laughs> or sorry, not playing Pittsburgh again. Hmm. Then we can pick it out on the Reds. I just got to hit the baseball. We clearly have not done in two days. Reminder, we are live on YouTube over on Dad Plays the Show. We're live on Robo. We're live on Twitch. And we're live on Kick under Dad's Backlog. So if you guys don't have if got some bandwidth and don't mind opening a tab in those places, I mean, help us out. Let's see if we can't continue to grow the game of baseball in those places too. And hopefully everybody has stopped the... Uh... Good mom's asking, are you feeding them breakfast? I'm like, I guess you asked them to, us to take them out to breakfast, so we're going to take them out to breakfast and in the comic book store. <laughs> That's how this works. That's how this works. All right, so Justin Steele gets another start. I don't know if we can do anything with this lineup. I don't know, it's just absolutely thrown together. It's little pockets of things here and there. Because we're trying to get these various programs done, and it's just ab absolutely no flow. Oh, uh, welcome, so welcome, so it's not, it's guys. Oh, appreciate it. It didn't pop up. I didn't realize it didn't pop up. Well, I'll have to send you uh, your packs, and we'll have to... Uh, you fed the kids, yeah. Now we're taking them out to McDonald's this morning, Sky Zone. Or sorry, Bake. And Sky Zone, I gotta make sure I send you some packs and I gotta send you uh, a song request or a karaoke request for uh, Scary Karaoke number two on the 19th. Seven o'clock start that Friday night, guys and gals. If you wanna hang out with us and watch me embarrass the shit on myself, that's whoops. I just swore. Sorry. Whoops, sorry. With all the nice, yeah, you get to do a song request, Bake. Yes, you're sub too, so subs do get a song request. We're thinking 70s, 80s, and 90s themes this this time. So we'll put it on the wheel and we'll spin it out like we did last time. Unless you got Pedro Pernod Martinez. Look at you go, Fair God. I mean, you're killing it. I don't know who to lead these guys off with. These guys are just kind of. Yeah, so make sure you put that on the on the on the old calendar, May May nineteenth, number nine sixty nine by Brian Adams. All right, we can put that one on there, big. I know you don't have Discord and everything else, but Sky Zone, if you want to DM me a, a song request over on the Discord, I don't have to send you a ballot then. This one's popped up the middle. I gotta figure out why the alerts are not working again. 
Yeah, dude. Fixed it. There you go. I was trying to figure out why it didn't pop up, though. Uh, Botrix is probably messed up again. Yeah, I'm not sure how we got the 350 followers this morning or yesterday. About 8.30, apparently, it looks like a whole bunch of people and then our view bot came through and our follow bot came through on Twitch side and just smacked through. <laughs> but I think Siri bot got rid of most of them, so... Which is fine. The other ones, if they haven't been triggered by Siri bot, I guess they're okay. Like any song, yeah, but it's trying to keep it like 70s, 80s, and 90s. Not not a lot of rap. Nothing too hardcore metal that I'm not going to sing afterwards. We're not even able to talk for three days afterwards. See more for one set cards? Get big roof, yeah. I, I knew you didn't like rap, Sky Zone. I figured you'd probably do something like hardcore metal or something. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably do it tomorrow, too. I'll have to do that again, Cubby. Yeah, I'm not sure why it didn't. Like, it even popped the notification up that said, hey, so he subbed. I had to go look at the dashboard here and find it. Subbed out through. The Flynn is still around. He should have access to give cards to Skyzone. If you want to give him a three packs, please. And thank you, sir. And thank you for your continued support as well. We appreciate it. And thanks for gifting the sub a couple days ago, too. All right, we got through the first inning scoreless this time. Yeah. Uh, over there, on I would use either Stream Elements, Sky Elements, especially if you're, on, if you're on YouTube. Use Stream Elements or use... <laughs> I don't know if Nightbot has alerts, as far as that stuff goes. Hard to say. I know I had to grab Botrix because... Caster Labs just stopped working all together for me. Okay, so I was like, okay. Yep. Nine ads again, guys? Sorry. Yeah, Twitch likes to just ding us. Is it every 10 minutes now, guys, or is it still all weird? It says the pre-rolls are off. I'm looking at the dash. It says 61 minutes and 54 seconds and the pre-rolls being off. It's the only reason we're running the ads the way the ads on there to recommend they're recommended and if you just Thanks Lyndon. Appreciate it. Of course Lyndon's got his big uh, CCW debut tonight. Make sure you guys go over the head over there on four o'clock Eastern time. We're gonna try to pop in on an open tab so if we can help Lyndon get to that if Verified goal over on kicks so if you guys have kick accounts or if you don't have a kick an account yet on kick go get one set up anyways Because you're gonna need it for karaoke night Guys well, thank you so much for gifting cubby With the gifted sub we'll make sure we get cubby a pack and we'll get you some more packs for Sub and uh, some gift and another sub over goodness. Thank you so much Yeah, but make sure you guys have got your, your names over reserved over on Kick as well. At least that way when we do karaoke nights, I don't have to worry about DMCA strikes or getting VODs killed or something too in the middle of something. We don't have any plans to just switch content over directly to that and everything like that, but... It's another avenue, another way to get some more eyeballs on things. And again, we're just not hitting the baseball. Pitching all right, I guess. Otto's on the the ropes here. We'll definitely do we'll do a status update after we finish this inning, or after this game, to see how we're doing as far as uh, the marker requirements for uh, player of the month program stuff. Justin Steele's not too bad of a pitcher. Definitely serviceable. Well. 
Bagwell. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys have comic book stores in your area or anything else. It is free comic book day. They've got a couple of Marvel ones. They got an Avenger one. They have a Ninja Turtle one. They have one that's based, uh, tells the story of Stan Lee as well, which I thought was pretty cool. And then some other smaller ones that I'm not sure what they are about. Then, of course, they've got, at least the local comic book stores also got all the, uh, 60 or 70 percent off the, their old back stock stuff, too. So I'm going to look for some Cooler stuff we didn't get. And thanks, London, for doing all the, the packs. Don't let me forget, we gotta do the giveaway still for the last month's uh, stream loot purchases, so we'll do that tomorrow. In the morning at some time. Tomorrow, I think the plan is to just grind as much as we can tomorrow. Try to get uh, Team Infinity stuff done. All right, that's going to be left leaving the yard here. All right, that works. We got a lead. Friedel hits the home run. And Andrew Vaughn be the batter now against Luke Weaver in the Reds. So I was trying to figure out how I could send the picture of Jeter to somebody. I'm like, okay. Let's see, if you have a Costco near you, I can send it. You can probably just get it printed there. And just, I don't know if I can email it to that one or whatever. I have to know which location I have to print it at. It might just be easier to send you cash and, and the electronic file of the, of the Jeter picture you want to do. If you don't want the Jeter picture, you just want the cash. It's cool, too. Whatever works. Right off the end of the bat, that's not going to do us any good. That's going to the shortstop. No, it's going right through. Nice throw. Nice throw. They got him on the tag. Yeah, so the player of the month program will probably take you a few days. Unless you're like super grinder supreme. Hit everything all over the place. And what's this going on? <laughs> the children are getting antsy. Can you come earlier? No. <laughs> People are still sleeping. One second here. <laughs> I'm not waking Jenny up, guys. I'm just not doing it. I'm just not doing it. She worked late last night, and I was like, no, I'm not going to, not going to do it there. Ain't going to be that guy. Get out of that. Oops, back here. I was debating taking the kiddos to see Guardians of the Galaxy, and then, and, uh, you guys remember Backdraft or anything else? He posted, he saw it, and I was like, oh, okay. So I messaged him, and he's like, yeah, don't take your kids. <laughs> your kids like animals? Don't take your kids. I'm like, yeah, that's enough for me. So if they want to go to the movies this afternoon, it's going to be Mario again. Unless there's something else playing they might want to watch. Now, if I was the, the the Star Wars dad, I should be. I would take them to go watch Return of the Jedi. <laughs> but I don't know if it's playing anywhere locally. Brenton Doyle hits this one. No problems, Cubs. We're going to wrap up probably about an hour from now. 8.45-ish, 9 o'clock-ish. We'll pick up the kids, take them to McDonald's, then we go off to the comic book store, and then we're making smash burgers for lunch with them. So maybe we'll record that and use that for content purchases. 
course, Kitty's Claws was nice enough to send me here. The rest of your daughter was using for their smash burgers a couple weeks ago, so we're going to try those out. That one's popped and flared into left, and it's going to get caught. <laughs> Marsh is retired. Pyro is stride on now the batter. Line in the first. That one's fouled away. Slow roller hit to the shortstop. Long throw is not going to get Estrada as he beats it out. And we got a chance to steal another base here. Oh, the throw is wide. He's got another stolen base. That's good. Senzel is 0 for 1. I'm going to take that one with ease. Can't steal home too easily. I guess you could try to, but I don't think I'd ever do it. I don't know if they could attempt it, but... Senzel's not got an 0-2 account to work with here, though. Oh, they pitched out and they knew we were coming home. <sighs> this is where I, I swear the AI just knows. Yes, he pressed the left trigger, so yeah, he knows we're gonna, you're trying to go home. But yeah, this team I've got right now is not exactly going to win any awards. I would definitely not take them online. That's for darn sure. But hopefully once we get this a little more settled down, we'll get a team we can actually start doing some ranked games with together. How the poll's been going for you guys? Like, I know... Let's see what Snowman's been pulling. I don't see what Mikey's been pulling. I don't know if I've got him out of this friend list on there or not. Let's see if Mikey Mumbles can add him sometime. We've been stuck in pulling a lot of Vladdies and Byron Buxtons lately. With like 11 or 12 Vladdies now. We had nine stocked up at one point. Before I got rid of a bunch of them. Alright, Mr. Senzel will back to lead things off here. And clubs it at the shortstop. And he's going to not get to this one. Alright, Senzel got aboard. Let's see if he's got enough stolen base ability here. No, actually, I guess he, yes, he does. He got 74. But he's going to be nailed. You can just tell by that animation. Mr. Bagwell. What is everybody else got planned for Saturday? If it's a nice day, I should probably do some stuff in the garden when the kids are here, too. Got three planters. I got to wheel out to the from the garage. Still, put them in position. Then we got to get the topsoil and everything else and fertilizer slash manure slash everything else. Brushed up eggs, shells out there, and that's flown out. And that's the fourth inning. But hopefully, everybody's having a good one. It just seems like it's going to be one of those eh, days. That ball hit him. And that's not what we wanted to do with Mr. Steele and Mr. Myers, but that's okay. Red's got the tie and run aboard now for Joey Votto. Tie and run at the plate, anyways. Strata gets some, or Votto pops this one up. Strata will make the, the catch behind first base. And there's one away here in the fifth.
one is lined to center field, and we're not going to... Oh, we are going to get to it. I didn't think we were going to get over to it in time. Well, with the game, potentially game-saving catch there. Kevin Newman fouls off the first one. And the second one as well, respectively. Now he's on the ropes to go in two. Slow Orler hit the Fraser. He's going to flip the second for one, and that's all they need. Getting over. Red Strand a runner. Still don't have a base hit. Mains leading this one 2 nothing on six hits of their own. Seven. Yeah, found the stroke, the swing this year like it did last year where we'd start mashing baseballs. Just haven't got that same groove yet. Kind of goes streaky for some reason. Now batting, first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Yeah, I definitely would not use this as a lineup anywhere. <laughs> the guys you got to grind out with and Right now, the truth be told, I don't want to grind with most of these guys. There's a slow roller hit the third baseman. Vaughn's retired. Five to three for out number two. And Adam Fraser will be the batter. He's 0 for 1. I'm to go back and look at those top bonus cards and see if we can find anybody better than Adam Fraser here. I think we have all the player of the month program cards we've unlocked in the lineup right now, so. This one's popped into center field. Probably caught by the second baseman. And the inning's over. So live baseball will be coming again on May 21st. We're doing the Kitchener Panthers hosting the Well and Jackfish. Answer season opener. I don't know if I have a co-host with me or not on that game. I know they're a normal guy. The normal guy that does the play-by-play -play is fortunately working that day. So throw down to first, and Stuart Fairchild legs this one out for an infield single. First hit of the game for the Reds. Fairchild wasting no time, and that's one's hit over the head of Friedel. And Fairchild's going to race home there. It's now a one-run ball game. <laughs> Sally with the single and an RBI. That is going to prompt us to get Alex Young up. That one's fouled away. So there's no way on Twitch to award channel points, correct? We'd have to just do something else. I was trying to think of how we could, I don't know. Improve the chat rate. <laughs> channel redemption, I think you have to pretty much earn them as you're, talk as you're sitting in the chat. You don't get any more bonuses for talking more, I don't think. I think as long as you're logged in and have the tab up, you get points. I think it's the same way we're on kick. That's what, how you would have to do it with bot tricks. I'm going to put a wheel spin so you guys on Twitch can at least have some fun with it. Yep. Can we fun? Okay. You just on Redemption then, Eric. Okay. It. So we're kind of stuck with that. Iro Strata doesn't get to that ball. Now that is trouble all the way around here. Why do they give us not give us Marsh on that one? Marsh had a better route to it. He's turning quickly turning to the inning from heck here. Will Myers is now the batter. 
Thankfully, he takes a strike looking there. And the count is on two. So now you've got the Caffeine Championship Women's title vacated. I'm not mistaken. But I think I heard you said last night. So you have a, a tag team tournament or a, a title that's vacant now because one of the characters changed from a man to from a woman to a man. Let's go around, which is okay. So I think that's what you said last night. <laughs> I was kind of paying attention. Yeah, double elimination in tournament. Yeah, that should be fun. Great way to start off the CCW on 2K23. Now batting, the third baseman, Nick Senzel. Senzel will bat now. <laughs> Gabby, thanks for liking up the post. 22 matches. That, uh, that's a long day. Hopefully you get the same kind of numbers you had last night on kick. You'll be up in your numbers. Yeah, so I'm not sure what time we're coming live tonight, guys and gals. And probably between seven and eight. Might be a little earlier, but like I said, I'm gonna probably do Dinkum tonight. Uh oh, Jeff's posting things about insanely, insanely scary moments in the Celtics game. Who won that game, anyways, Jeff? I didn't see. Well, I guess I just look at the scoreboard below us. So tell us. The Hurricanes were all over the Devils last night. It should have been like seven to one the way the Devils were playing. Celtics won. Okay. That series of what, 2 1 Celtics now? Hey. Absolutely scary. Yeah, I'll definitely watch it later on. So I think tonight we'll do some dinkum. We'll do baseball tomorrow. We'll grind it out, whatever else we have to do. Hopefully get some of the Team Infinity stuff finished up without having to use the, the collections. I know the last three are like 35, 38, and 42% to get finished. So we're going to have a lot of work to do tomorrow. Be a lot of uh, single games, single player games against... The AI using X number of players here. This one's still going to act. Doyle's still going back. He's going to make the catch at the wall, though. Oh, he's not. He's going to one bounce him. Iron right now is there. 300, 300 pounds. Ouch. Oh. 300 pounds. Yeah, and Bid, Bid's not a small guy. Oh, Alex Young's going to have to come into the game and try to save this one out here. We don't got anybody out. Hey, Jazz, how you doing? Throw to the plate is going to be just a little late. That things are well for you. We're trying to get some of the player of the month stuff done this morning. I'm not hitting water out of a, when I fell in with a boat today. <laughs> My pitching is no better. So yeah, it's going to be one of these mornings. Clearly not enough coffee today. But it is also free comic book day, so I'm taking my kids to the comic book store, so maybe I'm just distracted on that. I'm looking at the clock too much rather than focusing on the game at hand here. I don't like being late. Thanks for stopping in this morning. We appreciate it. Are you a baseball fan, Jazz, or just casually strolling past?
Nice. Number 63, Fernando Cruz. Fernando Cruz takes over here in the seventh inning. And Jeff Bagwell greets him with a pop-up in the infield. Shortstop will make the catch. And there's one away. Right, we're live on Kick. We're live on Trovo. We're live on Twitch. And we're live on, our, on YouTube as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hit the sub buttons, the follow buttons, the like buttons, all those buttons you can press. Supposed to continue to grow here is Carlos Santana. It's a flare into right field for a base hit. Mr. Profits, good morning, sir. How's your day starting, Ray? Saw you up at 3.07 a.m. <laughs> I didn't see it till six, though. Want to see something? Sure, Jax. What do I want to see? Well, thank you so much, Jax. Jax, appreciate it. Welcome to the tribe. Why did the alert not go off? But I saw it on the screen, anyways. Glorious coffee. Yes, we need lots of coffee today, Prophets. Gonna need lots and lots. Andrew Vaughn checks his swing, but he umpire says he goes around, and there's two away now. Adam Fraser will be the batter. One for two in the contest. Flares this one into left field, but it's going to get caught by the left fielder. As the infield is out there. And Lindens, good morning. Over on the kick side, too. Appreciate it. That one gets past Vaughn at first. Marsh up with it. He'll throw it back in the infield. Looks like they're having a snowball fight in the infield. We might want to get an actual pitcher up here. I know you will appreciate it, Lyndon. Appreciate it. We are trying to grow things all over the place. Uh, I think Marquez is done. I think everybody else is done. Let's get Munoz loose. We're trying to finish off his uh, requirements for the Mexican si Mexico City stuff. Uh, I have most of them except for Kick. i got to figure out how to merge it on Kick somehow. Restream doesn't merge it over some for some reason. I might have to bring out Botrix and try to merge them that way. They pop up on the screen. The only thing I haven't figured out how to do yet. I was hoping Caster Labs would let me do it that way, but unfortunately it doesn't, so. I can see it on my thing, but it doesn't merge it. Like, it does, I can't bring it out. I could probably output it somewhere, but I don't know. I know I can get the kick one to merge with the Caster Labs, but it doesn't merge on the screen. <laughs> Guys are so kind. So, so kind. You know I didn't eat breakfast yet. It's rotten egg. I'm just gonna be bad. I'm gonna be sad. But we know we know why the dang schemes are all the way up. I just knocked the microphone. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys. Need to mic the mic knock the microphone. Oh. It's a rotten egg, all right. <laughs> Prophets, what are you playing tonight? What time are you starting? <laughs> I wanted eggs for breakfast. Yeah, now I think I'm doing all right. Rock, how you doing? How'd the rest of your stream go last night? Or yesterday. I had you on in the morning when I got to work, but I didn't get a uh, chance to stick around much because I had two meetings in the morning, then we had to give a demonstration to the football guys on how to use the new video walls in the cafeteria. 
after we got five minutes of training ourselves. You know, the video wall, we may or may not have been playing Mario Kart on earlier this week. <laughs> was good, awesome. Glad to hear that, man. Glad to hear that. Brandon Marsh now the batter. This one's foul the way. Oh, I'm telling. <laughs> oh, I'm so telling. Now we grounded our letter one here. We're getting closer to that time I told the kids I'd be getting over to their house today. So yes, if you guys have a comic book store and you have kiddos in your area, man, take them to the comics book store. It's free comic book day today. As a kid, I used to love racing down there on Tuesdays. See what they didn't have. Exactly, Lynn. Exactly. It was, it was for test for scientific purposes to make sure it was working properly. In fact, the Leaf game wound up on it the other day afterwards. It was like, you know, purely just scientific. Yeah, so I have to figure out how to merge the chat and kick to there so you guys can see what's going on here, too. I don't know if Boxtrix can do it. I know Caster Labs kind of does it, but... I just can't merge the YouTube one over there. If I get the YouTube one on there too, then I think we're laughing. I just don't know what kind of font that's going to look like. I want to fix the scoreboard below us there, as you can see down below us here. I want to fix it up so it actually has like a diamond counter on it or something, or something more interactive for you guys to use. I don't just be a the whole thing we were trying to go for was the, like the the, score, the the big display thing is a video wall. It's above my name and everything else where the stream leads cards are supposed to go. And then the chat's in the middle and then the, the actual scoreboard from the actual games that are going on throughout the NBA, NHL, and NBA is off to the right there. I'll have to play with it a little bit more. And we're trying to come up with a design for Dad's backlog as far as a logo and some branding and stuff. I like what Kitty as Claus had mentioned. Maybe like, like, the only thing I could come up with was like you know, Dad sitting around by a stack of video games. <laughs> she had a, a pretty cool idea, a spider web or something. Like you know, a stack of games with a spider on top of the web or something. Then we're going to find somebody that can draw that out for us too. I wish they could, though. No, man, I wish they could, but I, he's not in the Players Association. He's not in the Alumni Association either. Because he never actually signed up. He never made it to the professional. He never he made it to the majors. And then he could have probably been part of it. I'm sure there, if they were to sign an exclusive agreement with Sony San Diego Studios, it's the same way with the only way we're going to get a Barry Bonds card is if you know, he does that. All right, we're in the ninth inning here. Time to walk this one off and probably wrap up after that. Yeah, he's going to walk it off all right. He's going to walk it off. The wrong team's going to walk it off. We're not careful here. All right, let's get Mr. Munoz in. The young looks like he's done. We got the strikeout. Kevin Newman now the batter. Yep. Sucked up baseball. I think he just didn't want to have to ride the bus anymore. <laughs> or he realized, you know, he, he wasn't that talented as far as, like you said, Snowman. I don't think he realized, I think he realized he still want, had something left to do in basketball. Be honest with you, I think he was just like, yeah, I wasn't quite done with basketball, and I think, I think he wanted one more kick at the can there. Carlos Santana is going to lead off the inning with a flare to center field that's going to drop in. All right, that works. 
we're going to be silly and put the brakes on here. Oh, we should have gone to third. All right, now we're a base hit away from winning this ball game in a walk-off. Frida will be the batter. We're going to call time here. Hey, I'm calling time here. Time is called. Substitution. Carlos Santana, we need somebody with a little better wheels than you. Somebody that's going to be able to score from sec uh, second base on a base hit. Infield is back. Outfield is playing. Friedel to pull this thing down the line somewhere. And he was with the Durham Bulls when he was in the minors. Was it the Durham Bulls or was it something else? Or was it the Barons? I don't remember where they was now. Frito grounds out, the runner goes to third, and Andrew Vaughn now has just a sacrifice needs a sacrifice fly to end this ballgame. Vaughn is one for three. Tags it down the left field line. That's gonna do the job. It'll drop in, and that's the walk-off. Canadians win this one. Three to two, and I really gotta learn how to hit baseballs again. <laughs> We're having some rough mornings here. Two days in a row. Rough mornings, two days in a row. He was with the White Sox in the minors. I don't remember what team it was. Was it the Barons? What was the White Sox affiliate in the AAA then? It wasn't. They didn't have the Bulls then. Durham was uh, back then. Who was Durham's team? That was before Tampa Bay took them over. Yep. It was the Barons. Yeah, it was the Barons. All right, Friedel's the player of the game. He's two for four with a home run and two RBIs. Munoz gets the win. Bo takes the loss. It's 8.30. We should probably get ready to go here. Bulls with basketball, yeah. But I thought the Durham Bulls were the, the minor league team. They're now the Tampa Bay Rays AAA affiliate. That's also the team that uh, Bull Durham is actually based on, too. All right, so Justin Steele got upgraded to 500. Bagwell got upgraded. Uh, we got another Mexican series card, so we must have finished off Munoz after all, and Graham Ashcrack with our, our parting gift. Look at the progress meters. Yeah, we've got some work to do on some of these teams still. Central's at 43%. Dale West still not done. East is terrible, and so is... Okay, Mexico City's up to 51% now. We are making progress there. Weekly Wonders is still at 57%. Tally hits with center fielders, extra base hits with first baseman. And with the monthly rewards is now 7 of 30. Strikeouts is now 29 of 30, so need Justin Steele to go back out there and throw another one. Extra base hits with monthly award players. Stolen bases is now three of five. Carlos Santana's up to 95 of 200. Stratus up to 105. Justin Steele's done. So they must be lowering that requirement from 600 to 500 now. With the new cards going forward, which probably makes more sense. Yeah, because even Alex Young is only 500 points. Which is okay. Marsh is up to 85 of 200. It's going to be a while to get those pictures done, but Justin Steele is done. So we should have another pack somewhere, right? Let's go look and see at the inventory here, and then we'll wrap up. We have no packs. All right. Let's go look at something else here. Let's go programs to infinity. I think I'm gonna have to wind up doing a collect. I'm gonna have to do a, a one tier collection on these things. So I'm missing a captain stat somewhere. Oh, I don't want to have to do an exchange for the last two points. The last point, they're so darn expensive. 
We may have to. We're at, four, we're at 2,000 points away. Uh, how are we doing team build missions? We got it anyway close. I can stack the team. Oh, yeah, Fags are pretty close. I can probably start uh, Paul Blackburn and get, a, get the, that soaked up there. Or get the Rangers out there, too, and do that, too. That's for tomorrow, though. We'll figure that one out. We're going to grind that out tomorrow, as much as possible. Tonight, we're definitely going to... I think we're going to do some dinkum tonight. I'm not sure what time we're going to start. But I look for it's about 7 o'clock or so. The kids are here for dinner, too. So we're here all day, so I don't know what time. It'll probably be 7, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock-ish when we come in with dinkum. Um, let's go sign some people to host over on the kick side. Let's go find somebody. And then we'll find somebody on Twitch, too. Yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out today with us. I do appreciate it. Anybody else playing the show? Yes, that's the next question. Third God Gaming is up again. I don't know if anybody else is up, though. He's a good guy and all, but he just doesn't... I don't know. I don't like the fact he vapes on stream. It's just not my thing. I don't mind if you guys do that stuff, but just don't have to do it on stream. Cut your camera away or something. Put a B-Right back screen up. Always irked me. Oh, I guess he's the only option over there. Uh, Grimlock Prime's doing some Horizon. Forza Horizon. And... Yeah, I don't know anybody else really over there. I really gotta learn some more people's names over in Kick. But we'll do that. Alright, and Kick's the Twitch side. Let's go see somebody over there. Somebody's gotta be live playing baseball over there. Right? Somebody's live. Rob's playing Fortnite. Oh. Wagonite is gone, but she, they always put their do not host thing up. Do not raid thing up. So it's like, yeah. There's only 408 people working here. All right. Let's see if we can find somebody lower in the food chain on the baseball side on Twitch and give them something here. Oh, Chatterhead's on. Let's, let's go say hi to Shadowhead too. He's a good guy. He's doing some fundraising for the Jed Foundation, which is for mental health awareness. So let's go over and do that for that guy. How do we do that? We'll write out the Chatterhead on the Twitch side. Take side, I don't know who we should go say, so I'll just leave it alone. All right, so we're going to do that. We'll see you guys tonight. Like I said, probably between 7 and 8, we'll get some dinkum going. Uh, it might be a little earlier, depending on what time the kids go home. There, so I think there's. I'm not sure if they're staying for dinner. I know they're staying for lunch. We're making smash burgers then, so we'll see. Let's go ready to chat ahead. Let me hit this thing. You guys have yourselves a fantastic day. Thank you again so much for hanging out with us today. Sorry, it's a shorter one, guys. Like I said, I wasn't know. I didn't know we were the ones taking the kids to the comic book store this morning, so that's important too. So. We'll do that. You guys have yourselves a fantastic day. See you guys later on. Have a great one, guys. Remember, kindness starts with you, so let's practice it often. Bye-bye, guys. See you soon.